Hey guys, Pioneer Agronomist Tony Zeruzin here. Wanted to take a minute to talk about soil and sidewall compaction during planting time. Soil moisture is the most important factor influencing the risk of soil compaction. Drier soils can sustain heavier loads without being compacted. Water acts as a lubricant between soil particles that allows soil to be pushed together. Additionally, trafficking wet, very wet soils often results in extensive smearing, which may even be more detrimental to crop root development. There are some simple infield tests that can be used to make a rough determination if soil is too wet to be worked. One test is called the ribbon test, which involves digging down a few inches into the seed bed, grabbing a handful of soil, squeezing it tightly in your hand. If the soil forms a ribbon when it's squeezed together between the thumb and forefinger, that condition is for compaction. Also with sidewall compaction. Sidewall compaction typically results from planting into soils that are too wet or applying too much downforce on the row units. Planting disc openers smear into wet soils, causing the seed furrow sidewalls to become hard after planting. The result can be a poor crop emergence and poor root development out of the seed furrow. The consequ consequences of restricted root development can be magnified if conditions turn drier and the drought stress has occurred later in the season. In a study done in 2011 by the University of Kentucky, severe sidewalk compaction reduced corn yield by up to 50%. Please be aware of soil mo moisture as we get into the fields these upcoming days and remember that a mistake early could potentially carry out throughout the entire growing season. Thanks for listening. Have a great spring. Stay safe. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.